Hello everybody and welcome back to Hello Vegan V. Thank you so much for being here today. So today we're going to be talking about the dairy industry. I just want to say uh, excuse this weird lighting on my face. I'm not really sure what's going on here but we're just going to roll with it anyway. The thing about the dairy industry that a lot of people don't realise is actually it's not only an ethical problem, it's an environmental problem and it's also a feminist problem. A lot of people don't really understand how the dairy industry could be a feminist problem but I assure you that it very much is and if you consider yourself a feminist it is just the basic belief that men and women are equal we are not better than one or the other if you kind of have that belief system as well then you might not want to support dairy something that you may or may have not learnt when you were in school learning about science is that in order to produce milk as a female you have to be pregnant first there is no animal on earth there's no female on earth who can produce milk without being pregnant first and so keeping that in mind that is exactly how it works in the dairy industry the cows in the dairy industry are all female and they have all had to have been made pregnant in order to produce the milk that we have in our coffees in chocolate and everything like that now we know this the next question you might be asking is what happens to the baby well, it really depends. If the baby is a female, it will go to the same fate as its mother. What happens is the cow gets made pregnant over and over and over again. She's basically raped over and over again in order for them to keep producing the milk. And it's a very, very sad existence. When the cow, the baby cow is born, most of the time the, that baby cow doesn't ever get to see any of that milk and the baby will be taken away. It's usually within the first 24 hours. It's a very, very traumatizing experience for both the baby and the mother. Depending on the gender of that cow, if the baby is female, it'll go to the same face as its mother. If it is a male, it'll go and be made into veal or killed for the meat industry in general. The male cow is basically a byproduct. With all this being said, we can understand now that ethically this is not a very good thing to be doing. It's a very bad thing to support. If you are supporting the dairy industry, then you are directly giving your money to people who are doing this. By supporting the dairy industry, you are funding this really, really cruel industry. If you don't agree with it, then I simply advise you not to. There are plenty, plenty, plenty of substitutes that you can get for dairy but I can make another video on that if you want. Today we are just talking about why the dairy industry is in fact a feminist issue. Let's just consolidate everything now. In order for a cow to be in the dairy industry, firstly they have to be female, secondly they have to be pregnant and in order to make the cow pregnant they basically rape her over and over and over again. That in itself is part of why it's a massive feminist issue. After that, when the baby is born, they don't get kept together. They will almost immediately be separated within the first 24 hours, which is very, very traumatizing for the baby and for the mother. To be honest, that's, that was like the thing that turned me vegan when I saw a baby being taken away from their mother. The mother just cooled out for days and days and days. And the worst thing about it is that once it's happened a few times, the mother cow knows what's coming and every single time she gets pregnant she knows that the baby is going to be taken away. It's just totally immoral. It's just the cruelest thing in the world. It's disgraceful what they do to these poor animals. After that, once the baby has been taken away, if it's female, gets sent to the same face as their mother. If it's male, gets made into veal and killed after not even a few months. That is why the dairy industry is a feminist issue and why if you consider yourself a feminist then you should not be supporting the dairy industry point blank. It's a completely unethical practice. What they do is completely unnecessary. Let's not mention about how absolutely terrible milk is for your diet. So much new science has come out now actually disproving all evidence that dairy is good for you because frankly it's not made for you, it's made for the baby cow. We are not baby cows, the only time we should be drinking any kind of milk from an animal is from our mothers when we're a baby, just like the baby cows should be drinking the milk from their mothers but they are not. So that is my video and I really hope you found it informative. I hope that you know now why dairy is not just an ethical issue or an environmental issue and we can talk about the environmental problems of dairy in another video but why in such a massive way 
it is a feminist issue. As a feminist myself, I would never, ever, ever want to contribute my money to that sort of cruelty towards females, regardless of their species. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye!